Today we are going to illustrate how to properly set up an integral magnetic flow meter. The flow meter is received as a minimum of two items, the flow tube or sensor itself and the transmitter, which is always shipped in a separate box. Contained in the transmitter box is the instructions for the flow meter, a quick start and CD, the transmitter itself, plus an accessory bag containing the terminal board and ground wire. The components of the flow sensor are contained under the black cover of the junction box. Inside we'll see two black plugs, the larger one being for the electrode circuit, the smaller one for the coil circuit. They are contained in two white holding blocks which are simply terminal points. Also inside is the flow meter sensor prom which contains the calibration, data, and settings for the flow meter. To prepare the sensor for the converter, first remove the black terminal cover. Next, loosen the two black plugs from the white holding blocks and place them to either side of the junction box. Next, using the terminal board supplied in the accessory packet of the transmitter, place the board into the junction box, being sure that the socket for the sensor prom mates with the pins of the sensor prom. The black plugs have numbers molded into the strain relief. Match these numbers with the identical numbers on the circuit board and tighten the connections to complete the circuits. Don't forget to attach the green ground wire to the threaded hole in the metal plate at the bottom of the terminal box. The wiring of the junction box is now complete. Please note the two screws securing the board to the junction box. Also note the black plugs correctly held in their respective terminal blocks. The mains power wiring has also been connected and the ground wire is secured to the metal plate on the bottom. The final step is to place the transmitter on the completed wired junction box. Please note the connectors on the bottom were made up with sockets on the board. Place the converter straight on top of the junction box and press gently down to seat the transmitter, then tighten the two screws on the side. Mains power can now be applied to the transmitter. Note that the transmitter will initialize for a few seconds. After that, the operator screen will be shown and the meter is now ready to accurately measure the flow through the pipe. For more information regarding the Siemens Citrans FM magnetic flow meter, please refer to the product instruction manual or visit the Siemens website.